In this video, we will review the proper installation procedure and operation of an HWAT Eco Controller. We will demonstrate how to install and wire the controller, install the temperature sensor, and finally, how to program the controller. Before we begin, let's double check that your HWAT Eco package contains all the items needed in order to perform the installation. Inside your package you should find 1. HWAT Eco Controller 1. Temperature Sensor with a 13-foot, 4-meter cable 1. Piece of Aluminum Tape 2. Mounting Screws 2. Mounting Washers and 1. Programming Manual in addition, check that you also have the following set of standard tools in your kit. Do not proceed until you do. For this demonstration, we will install the HWAT Eco Controller directly on a flat wall. First, ensure that you install the controller in a dry, clean, and accessible location. To minimize the danger of fire from sustained electrical arcing if the heating cable is damaged or improperly installed, and to comply with the requirements of approvals agencies. Pantair Thermal Management and National Electrical Code's Ground Fault Equipment Protection must be used on each heating cable branch circuit. Arcing may not be stopped by conventional circuit protection, and the HWAT Eco does not include ground fault circuit protection. Remove the controller cover by loosening the four screws on each corner of the unit and carefully pulling the cover straight out, not sideways. Both the cover and the box have electronic parts and are connected to each other by a 14-pin connector that can be damaged if the cover is removed incorrectly. Now, proceed to mount the controller. You can mount the controller to the wall using the two supplied screws and sealing rings in the two holes located inside the bottom part of the controller. With the unit mounted securely on the wall, proceed to do the wiring. The HWAT Eco has three terminal blocks, one for power, one for alarm, and one for pipe temperature control and communications. Also, there are two one-half inch NPT conduit entries on the bottom of the enclosure and one gland nut. The entry on the left side is for connecting the load, the heating cable to the controller and the conduit entry on the right is for line voltage, 208 or 240 volts. Either flexible or EMT conduit can be used to connect to the HWAT Eco controller. The gland nut is for the temperature sensor and BMS wiring. Remember that a licensed electrician should do all the electrical connections and follow all local electrical and building codes. All conduit, fittings, and interconnecting wiring are not included and are the responsibility of the installing contractor. The HWAT Eco is supplied with a temperature sensor, which is used to provide feedback to the controller on the operation of the hot water temperature maintenance system. While not required, it is highly recommended that the sensor be installed on the domestic hot water piping. Without the sensor, the high temperature alarm, low temperature alarm, and high temperature cutout features of the controller will be disabled. The temperature sensor should be mounted on the piping downstream of any temperature control valve and located on the same piping as the HWAT cable. Wipe the copper pipe with a clean rag and remove any dirt, debris, or moisture. Place the sensor on the pipe 180 degrees opposite of the heating cable to avoid inaccurate temperature readings. Lay the temperature sensor on the pipe with the aluminum wings wrapping around it and apply the self-adhesive aluminum tape over the top of the sensor bulb and aluminum wings. Insulate the piping over top of the temperature sensor with the recommended fiberglass insulation. Feed the cable through the gland fitting Connect both wires of the temperature sensor to the temp terminal, PL4, in the controller. The sensor wires should be landed on the two rightmost locations. To connect the wires to the terminal block, use the screwdriver and push down the orange tabs on the side of the terminal. Finally, tighten the gland nut. 
make the remaining connections into the terminal blocks for power and for alarm and close the controller by placing back the front cover. Again, being careful to not damage the controller pins during reassembly. Put the screws in place and tighten. Now we can proceed to programming the controller using the quick start procedure. If you wish to program the controller using the advanced menu options, refer to the HWatt Eco installation manual provided with the unit, or visit Pentair's website pentairthermal.com to download a copy. Let's take a look at the display functions of the unit. The HWatt Eco controller display has two lines with 16 characters each and six buttons up, down, left, and right arrow buttons, an escape button, and an enter button. When you initialize the controller, the unit will sound an audible alarm, and the following text will appear in the display. Quick Start. Any key to start. Press any key to start the Quick Start programming procedure, and the first parameter will appear. Setting the time and date, Using the up-down arrow keys, select the year and press Enter to confirm the selection. Continue to set the month, day, hour, and minute parameters using the same procedure and press Enter when complete. The display will change to Select Cable Type. Use the up-down arrow keys to select the type of heating cable being used, in this case, HWatt-R2 cable, and press Enter to confirm. The display will change now to select voltage. Again using the up-down arrow key, select between 208V or 240V according to your setup and press enter. The display will change to select units. Select between English or metric units and press enter to continue. The next parameter is set ambient temperature. Ambient temperature is the air temperature surrounding the hot water piping where the heating cable is installed. Using the up-down arrow keys, select a temperature in the range of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius, to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius, and press Enter. The setup will move on to set maintain temperature. The maintain temperature set point is the water temperature that you set for normal use. Using the up-down arrow keys, select the temperature desired and press Enter when complete. This will change the display to set economy temperature. The economy temperature set point is the water temperature for periods during which hot water is not usually used, for example at night or during a peak period when a lot of hot water is being used. The minimum temperature that can be selected is 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature is the previously selected maintain temperature. Using the up-down arrow keys, make your selection and press Enter. The display will change to select default programs. The HWatt Eco has nine predefined programs. See Chapter 5 of your HWatt Eco Controller Manual on predefined programs for more information. For this situation, we will select the default program as constant or always on and press enter to confirm. Now, the HWatt Eco will take a few seconds to copy the predefined program to the internal memory. During this time, it will show the text busy in the display window. And once the program is copied into the memory, it will change to completing initialization. Simply press enter and the controller will start control of the HWatt system. After finishing the quick start procedure, the display should show the date, time, temperature, mode, and a star to indicate that the controller is unlocked. Once initialized, power the controller and leave it to charge the internal battery for at least six hours. This concludes the installation, wiring, and programming of the HWatt Eco Controller. For further assistance and product support, please contact Pentair Thermal Management Technical Support at 1-800-545-6258 or visit pentairthermal.com for additional instructional material.